Guys, Roblox is going to lose the metaverse race. You know why? Because Disney just invested $1.5 billion into Epic Games Fortnite. Now you can play as Darth Vader, Elsa, Spider-Man, um, Mickey and, Go and Goofy. Um, it sounds like they're just turning Fortnite into one of these videos. One of these, like, uh, child predator, uh, skit videos. Dude, we're gonna have this on Fortnite? Yeah, I'm the smartest guy in the world, and let me tell you why, Disney, you just wasted one- You should just built a different theme park. Why'd you waste, uh, one and a half billion dollars on Fortnite? Guys, I had a really boring internet browser, and it used to make me so upset that I would physically attack people that I loved and cared about. But thanks to the sponsor of today's video, I don't have that problem anymore. I downloaded Opera GX for free. Opera GX literally saved my family's lives from me. It's so customizable. You can download a zillion themes, including uh, Roblox themes, like the one I have. Makes different types of... Roblox sound effects, has Roblox backgrounds, and there's actually zillions more that you can download, like uh, animes or uh, video games. It's even got AI plugged into the browser, so you can always ask it for advice, like, uh, please fix my parents' marriage. Yeah. Oh my god, okay, I didn't- <laughs> Do my homework, god damn it! There we go! Yeah, custom everything, custom- Keep to type in. Download it for free. Link in the description. It's a cool, young, hip browser for young people like me. So go download link in the description. Thank you for sponsoring today's video. Here's their little promotional trailer they made. Discover a place. They have an epic voice guy magic. talking. Whoa. Let me rewind that. Wow. Can you show that on Fortnite? Let me speed this up two times. Epic. Where Fortnite is epic. Discover a place where Spider-Man is epic. Where epic is awesome. So, yeah, Spider-Man, Pixar, Fortnite, Pixar, Disney, Mickey, Disney, Fortnite. So, if there's one good thing that Epic Games does, it's, uh, they make a lot of hype for something, and then, um, people play it for a couple days, and then it just dies. Uh, their Fortnite's really good at that. So, I'll open up Fortnite, and, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit biased because I've wasted my entire life on Roblox, and now I want to die because I have no life skills, but I'm just gonna compare the two for a second. Epic would have never asked for your password. Mickey would will never ask you. Mickey will never ask you to come over to my house. So Fortnite has 600k and 500k players on the uh, main games. And then their huge Lego Fortnite collab has 86k. You know, not to take away from anything, but like uh, we have a copyright ridden mess of a game, Blocks Fruits, that just completely mogs that. And then we have Brookhaven. So just with these two games, we have more players than Fortnite. And then Lego go Fortnite? All right, let's see. Uh, Skibbity Toilet Tower Defense <laughs> has more players than Lego Fortnite. Probably all of them are just drooling three-year-olds without any type of conscious or like buying power. But you know, the numbers don't lie. Lego Fortnite kind of sucked. Every game mode on Fortnite kind of sucks. Wh what are they going to do? Are you just going to have Mickey Mouse Fortnite game mode? What? How are you going to leverage that one 1.5 billion into more players. See, the difference between Fortnite and Roblox is on Roblox, people, children get kidnapped. On Fortnite, you don't have kids getting kidnapped because you don't have like the social capabilities. Roblox is so social of a game that people will play anything. And you know, the more social it is, the more kids get kidnapped. I'm not saying, I'm saying that's a horrible thing. Let me make that clear. That's horrible, but it does happen because Roblox is so social. Roblox is the only metaverse that will ever exist. Just like everybody else is way too late. When has someone got kidnapped from someone they met on Fortnite? Okay, a man used Fortnite and Snapchat the kidnapping. Okay, maybe it does happen, but do you get what my point when I, when I say that or do I just sound insane? 
Do I sound like a bad person when I make that point? Because I'm not agreeing with kidnapping. It's just Roblox already is the metaverse. So, and Fortnite is just, uh, Fortnite is just hype driven. And if they want to sponsor me, I'll just delete this video and just talk a bunch of sh on Roblox. I will say, I'll bring up all the horrible things Roblox has done. Because Roblox has done a lot of really dirty, dark things. A lot of horrible things have happened on Roblox. And I will bring them all to light if Fortnite gives me a, a tiny portion of that 1.5 billion dollars they got from the evil Mickey Mouse company. Give me some of your evil Mickey Mouse dollars and I'll try to help you win this war of the metaverse. Use me as your tool. All right, let's try one of Ro uh, what's it called? Fortnite. Why is DJ, why is this guy? See, this is why you'll never succeed. Why is this eggplant here? Do you have any social games or is it all just different variations of Fortnite Battle Royale? See, that's your issue. All right, great with friends. The Hood Tycoon, Rapper Tycoon. Let's try The Hood Tycoon. I'm guessing this is their social game if it's great with friends. What do I do? Is this just a fighting game? Oh. Why don't I have any weapons? Jesus Christ, there's no chat. Roblox has bubble chat where a little chat log goes over my head. I can't talk to anyone, I can't communicate. How are you this stupid to where you're trying to make a metaverse but I can't even talk to people? I'm only 10 or 11 years old. I don't have a microphone. I don't want people to hear my squeaky voice. <laughs> David Goggins 1v1. Don't me, son. Get it! Uh, Nine uh, me, son! Epic house. I'm just trying to play something that isn't like a video game. The thing is, people don't like gaming. Your game has to be as simple as a mobile game for people to actually want to play it. Nothing I'm saying is wrong, by the way, especially the kidnapping point. Explore with your amigos. Okay, how do I do that? I can't type to anyone. How am I gonna make a friend? Oh, I'm the only one here. Epic house. See, and I'll give uh, Fortnite a little bit of credit because uh, Roblox has the worst collabs you could ever think of. There is an official NBA licensed collab on Roblox and you've never heard of it. You've never played it. Let me try to find it because when you type NBA, it's hard to find. Oh, right here. There's one person playing it. This official NBA game on Roblox. If Fortnite did official NBA, it'd probably be a huge thing for like a day. But this was not, this didn't even even become a thing. Look, the game they made for this is, should be such a huge deal. What you do is you put on a merch item that you can buy with Robux and then you make a basket by pressing a button. That's their game. This just exists to sell merch items. Brands only get into Roblox just for like the few pennies they think they could make. Like does NBA need this? You know, I guess technically Roblox doesn't ever really need to make a successful collab with a brand. They just don't have to uh because you just you just steal stuff like uh all, all the most popular games are either anime games or skibbity toilet games so it's just like why why get permission from a brand to make a collab when you just have people make it for you all right roblox has that mindset with everything though it's like um kind of just let blatant scams go around like super inappropriate things gateways of being kidnapped we'll just stay on roblox until uh you know something is brought up about it in a public light but that's how the metaverse should be surely the only good roblox collab that's ever been done is the vans world skateboard Boarding game. Don't play it because they didn't sponsor me. But uh, it's like an actual <laughs> decent skateboarding game where uh, pretty much every Roblox collab sucks and it's like they hand it off to this company GameFam, the controversial company GameFam that um, has questionable treatment towards their employees. I've heard like, oh, we got an official SpongeBob collab. Oh, oh, it's just uh, the game Pet Simulator, but with uh, SpongeBob characters. Oh, we got an official Sonic collab. Oh, it's just a casino it's just a casino you gotta run through the casino god 
Get these purchases away from me. I don't want to unlock skins. Let me out. Let me run for two seconds without seeing something I have to pay for. Like this, the gameplay isn't bad, but just the ethics behind it make me sick. See, Fortnite is in a position where they can't just steal things like we can on Roblox. Marketplace. We've stolen Kanye's likeness. We can steal SCP. We can steal any meme from the internet. We can steal the Bible and Jesus Christ. Imagine if Fortnite did a Jesus Christ Fortnite event. They would probably get in a lot of hot water, but we just have it there. You know, and I have Fortnite's best interests at heart. I think it'd be good if Roblox had some good competition, but this isn't gonna cut it. Maybe they'd start giving us uh, creators boatloads of money to stay on Roblox, and that's that's the goal. I just want a big company to buy me out. I have no morals. I'll promote anything.